Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations. I am here with my monthly traveler's notebook journal. It's not exactly a traveler's notebook. A traveler's notebook is eight and a quarter inches tall by four and a quarter inches wide, four and a half inches wide. Um, this I make mine eight and a half because I use regular American sized paper, not the A4 paper, which is what you would use. Anyway, if you are not familiar with my monthly journals, real briefly, about four years ago, I started journaling and I was very intimidated by using a very large, thick journal. I felt like I needed to fill the whole thing and I came up with this program that personally works great for me. It in, it's a, a monthly journal that has about 30 blank pages plus some extra pages. I use my 28 pound hammer mill acid free paper and then acid neutralize my coffee that I dye the paper in as well. And I'll just flip through this real quick. It's blank, it's ready for June. So I copy dyed just some good old ledger paper. I like ledger paper for um, keeping track of things. Then I have some tracing paper and some graph paper. I have some flips. So that is the whole thing, but it is time. I want to decorate the cover. I have already sewn around it and I am using the Grandma's Attic kit. I love it so much. I've been working on a journal kit that has all of Grandma's Attic stuff as well. And I decided uh, for the next six months, July through the end of 2021, I am going to use a variety of kits by Stephanie over at My Porch Prints. They may all be Grandma's Attic. They may be a whole bunch of different things. Um, so to get down to it, I am going to put on some music and you can just watch me do my thing.
I'm really happy with how this turned out. All I've done is this was a bit of coffee dyed um, tracing paper that I then printed the word July on it. And this is a Tim Holtz die cut. It's no longer sold. However, I was able to find one on Etsy not too long ago and a little bit of flowers. And then I added, this is a rose stamp rose stamp and a ticket that I made and some more. So these are Tim Holtz die cuts also that I used. I cherish this ribbon or lace. I need to find out from Stephanie where it came from. This was something she sent me. We did an exchange a while back and then this satin ribbon she also sent me and she also made this little piece and it says dance and that's one of my favorite songs called I Hope You Dance. Very, very old Western uh, song. However, it is now time to take my July journal and put it in my reusable book cover. I do need to make a new one. This one has faded from the sun. This is June. This was my last one I decided to do using the Planning Janny kits. And I do six months at a time kind of as a theme and then I bind it all together and I've not made my binder yet for this and I will get that done and show you all six months put together in another video. I love this. It says, you are not lost, you are here. And to me, that's something I think we need to remember, especially during this last year and things are still struggling to get back to normal, that we're really not lost. We are here and we are going to make it and we're going to come out on top and things will get back to Maybe never normal, which is probably okay because we've I've personally learned a lot from COVID, but I feel like I can at least go forward now. And some of my the things that I've been dreaming about doing for the last year are finally going to happen in the next couple of years. I really believe that. And so that is my June journal. And we're going to put my July journal in here. I am now ready. I cannot believe it's July already. I almost wrote June on this because I was thinking it was still June and today is the last day of June when I recorded this. And so it is now July and I am ready. I hope I've inspired you to be creative today.